Sapphire has always been more powerful with the addition of the Mocha tools, and in Sapphire 2025.5, that's been taken to the next level with the addition of the Matte Assist ML feature inside of Mocha Sapphire. So let's take a quick look at the basics of Matte Assist ML and how I used it to enhance various Sapphire effects in this shop. So here's the basic shot, and I haven't got any effects applied yet, so let's build this up. We've got S effect with the advanced day for night preset from the presets, just to give this a nice moody look. I haven't used any mats for this. Next, we have Sapphire Ultra Zap, and that's also one of the presets and giving it a nice electrical look. But I don't want this behind the talent, I want it in front of the talent in the background. So this is where Matt Assist ML comes in really handy. So I'll twirl that open and click on Edit Mocha, and let's create a quick Matt Assist ML mat. So I'm in the Essentials workspace, and you can see Mask is selected. There's also a Track tab. Previously, if you wanted to get to these settings, you'd have to be in the Classic mode, and you'd have to come down here to these tabs. But it's really handy to have these now inside of the Essentials tab, of the Essentials workspace. So we're going to focus on the mask tools. Now the first thing we need to do is come up and click this tool here. This is the Create New Mask ML Layer tool. And I'm going to move towards the center of the shot because I want to show you this new feature here as well. We could start from the beginning, of course. And I'm going to click on his head and click on his body. And it's pretty much done it, hasn't it? I could click here as well, or I could come over and I could grab the area brush tool and just fill that in. So I could do that. Maybe just grab his finger there as well. And if I had anything outside the area that I wanted to select, I could hold down the Alt or Option key and I could paint that out as well. So I'll just come back and select that tool and come over and click on this tool here, the Pick tool, and that creates my first spline. Now over here, you can see these have changed somewhat. Generate Object Matte is now selected. And Dilate Matte is available. If I wanted to dilate this, I could. I don't need to. I want to have it nice and tight. And there's also this button here, which will re-render on any dilation change. Just means you don't have to come and click this button here, the Render button, or the button down here. Now, I wanted to point out this tool here. This will render forwards and backwards automatically. So it will render towards the end of the clip. When it gets to the end, it'll come back to this keyframe and render forwards, which just saves some more time. So I'm going to click on that, and let's get this rendering. So I'll just pause for a moment, and when it gets almost towards the end, I'll just unpause and we can see it go back to the beginning. Now, I only had to pause for about three seconds because it was so fast. So there you go, it came back to that keyframe, and now it's rendering towards the beginning of the clip. All right, so the next step is just to close that up and click Save. You can see that the zap is playing within the mask. So what we have to do is come over and invert Mocha. And now it's outside the mask and it appears to be playing in front of the talent, which is great. So you can see just with this one example, how quick it is to use Matt Assist ML and how useful it can be in the Sapphire workflow. So we'll just twirl that up and let's take a look at how it was used with some of these other effects. Now, I want to use the same matte for S Gamma, but I don't have to go ahead and re-render that. What I can actually do is just very quickly, inside of Mocha, for Ultra Zap, all I have to do is come up and choose File and Export Project. And I'll just call this Test 2, put it on the desktop, close that up. And then when I apply any other Sapphire effect that can use Mocha, just come in and edit Mocha and choose File and Merge Project. So that's the, that's the way to do that. So you don't have to do you know, multiple renders. Now here I've just added a bit of blur to the mat. I'm just going to make that zero. And you can see I've also dilated it using the new Dilate Mocha feature. So by having those two, two adjusted, I've got this nice fall off and I've basically relit the talent without affecting the background. Very nice. Beneath that, we have Sapphire Film Effect, just to add a bit of a grade to that, no mats used. And another S effect, this time with the Sapphire Flicker Effect and Ultra Glow. 
And by using Flickr, I've got a really great Flickr effect with the lightning. And that's been enhanced a bit with S Ultra Glow. But it looks a bit strange if there's not a little bit of light wrap around the talent. And once again, this is a great opportunity to use Matter System L. You can see here I've used blur again and dilation. Let me just make that zero and zero. So now we've, we've got the, the glow and the flicker, but you can see we've got these really clean edges of the, of the mat. And what I want to do is have that light wrap around him. So I'm just going to undo that. You can see now, now we're getting that really nice light wrap effect thanks to the dilation and blur of the Mocha Matte Assist ML Matte. And to finish the shot, I just use a little bit of Sapphire Dust, also using Matte Assist ML, just to add some dust in the background. All right, so that's just a quick look at Matte Assist ML inside of Sapphire 2025.5. And you can see how you can make your workflow more creative and more efficient when using Sapphire. For more information and to download a free trial version of Sapphire, visit borisfx.com.